and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about something I would have avoided, but apparently your girl is just like wearing a tank top and showing a little cleavage, which she's doing again. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too deep into this thing. It is just pretty much um, double standard. Anyways, if a guy shows like a shirtless picture, he's like, whoa, look at those um, abs and stuff. But if a girl does it, she just either wants to show off her body or she um, is looking for the wrong time and attention is automatically a slut. So welcome to slut clubs, guys, if you ever wear a tank top. Anyways, so this video obviously is gonna go more towards uh, the sexism towards women. I know that sexism goes both ways. Okay, so, and for everyone who didn't know what sexism is, sexism is pretty much a prejudice or discrimination based on someone's sex or gender. And sexism can pretty much affect anyone, but it usually affects women and girls more. It's pretty much based on stereotypes and gender roles. Okay, so now you know what sexism is. Anyways, when I say men or women, I don't mean every woman, I don't mean any men, every men. So please do not feel offended, but men that actually do it should listen up. Thanks. Sexism starts when we are young. I actually have a story for this. When I was in first grade or second grade in a German elementary school, who I wanted to go to the soccer class. We had this training session where they like were watching us and seeing if we're good or not. I thought I did pretty good. I was playing soccer with my brother every day, so I wasn't too bad. Anyways, at the end of the day, you know what my soccer teacher told the girls? She said, listen girls, soccer isn't for girls, said the female coach and she sent us home anyways besides that even if you look at brands of clothes there is sexism i'm gonna show you some examples the girls one says born to be spoiled and the guy says future boss then we have i only date heroes versus future man of steel boy genius <sighs> ready for my selfie you see how they portray women at the early stages of being babies speaking of teaching them the wrong message you know what girls are taught because of the dress code of school their bodies are dangerous and sexualized. Boys are biologically programmed to objectify and harass them. And apparently the guy's education is more important than the, the, the girl's. Because pretty much if there's a dress code violation, she gets pulled out of class. So she misses class because of the way she dressed. Pretty much if I was showing this right here. My shoulders, a bra strap, uh, too much cleavage, um, too short shorts. I am automatically distracting my poor fellow mates from learning or my teachers. I'm making them feel uncomfortable or I'm distracting the guys because I'm showing too much skin. I apologize so much for that. Not. We always blame the women for stuff. Like there was this, uh, I saw this thing on TikTok where the, um, they had a curfew for women because there were, there were guys out there that were like attacking women. And instead of saying, okay, you know what? After 10 o'clock, all the guys have to stay inside because they are the ones they are the ones that are attacking women. We're like, yeah, no, I think the women should stay inside because if there's no women outside, there's no reason for men to attack. What? Where's the logic behind that? Let's pretend someone has COVID. Like, a lot of people have COVID. Instead of being like, okay, so the people that have COVID have to stay home. We're going to be like, you know what? The people that have COVID, they can go outside. And the people that don't have COVID, they stay inside so they don't get it. Does that make sense? Absolutely not. Another thing that most women have to deal with is stress harassment. I'm not sure if a lot of guys deal with that, but as far as I know, they don't. I never seen a woman just walk by and be like, woo, look at you, hottie. I mean, they do that as a joke to get back to the guys. But let me tell you something about street harassment. First of all, they think it's a compliment. It is not a compliment. If I get yelled at, like, oh my God, you look good and stuff. But, but, the, but the, look, you could just to tell me that in a nice voice without being creepy and yelling at me. I mean, what do you want me to do? Be like, hey, thank you, man. That's not how you respond. It is just weird. And they treat you like a dog because they're whistling at you and they're yelling at you and they're putting you down because they want to show themselves as dominant. I am tired of hearing people say, oh, it's just a compliment. Oh, if you dress that way, if I dress that way. Well, I apologize for wearing sweatpants and a tank top. I did not know. That that automatically means that guys can judge my outfit. Maybe I should put more thought into what I'm wearing from now on. Hmm? And you know what the worst part is? When people say, just ignore it. Oh yeah, just ignore it. You know how freaking scary it is when a guy hollers at you? And uh, here's the thing. If you ignore them, sometimes they get mad or offended. Like, I mean, you're lucky if they say, you stupid bitch, I didn't think you're that pretty. That's the good one. The creepy ones, which I've had before, is the guy that follows you. Yeah, I had a guy literally jump into his car and follow me, stopping traffic 
to tell me that he just wanted to let me know that I'm beautiful. And he's like, hey, do you want to meet me at that curb right there so we can exchange Snapchat and stuff or Instagram? And yes, I know there's a big uh, age difference, but I think you look like a nice girl. I'm like, yeah, of course. And I run home like some psycho is chasing me, which in case it was a psycho that traumatized me. And I stopped going for walks for a while. So yeah, of course I can ignore that. And speaking of being scared, did you ever see a guy walk around with pepper spray, a taser, or whatever to protect themselves? Have you ever heard a guy being, like, when they get attacked, was it like, well, what were you wearing? How much did you have to drink? Did you do something to lead him on? Why didn't you try harder to find mom? And why weren't you carrying a gun? Like, you should have known. Why do we have to do all these safety progressions just not to be assaulted? Let me put it this way. Four men, like imagine you're short and there is someone who's way taller than you, they're stronger and some men have a bad reputation of doing mean things to women. Are you gonna walk around at night to your car in the parking lot and pretend like nothing's gonna happen? No, you're gonna be scared. The beginning and the reason why I'm doing this, slut shaming. Girls can do it, guys can do it. If a woman w dresses a certain way, if a woman acts, on her sexual feelings, if she has more than one sexual partner, and apparently even if she's on birth control, she is, um, people are trying to make her feel guilty, dirty, or ashamed for acting that way. But if the man does the exact same behavior besides birth control, they are congratulated for being young and living their lives to their fullest. And if a girl does it, she's considered easy. And that guys can take advantage of her and even if she says no, she actually wants it because she's easy. Tell me how messed up that is. Another thing annoying about being a female is the pink tax. It's real. If you get a razor it's and it's for females, it's gonna be more expensive because it's pink. The beauty products, the same thing, are more expensive because it's for, targeted to women and they assume that women will pay more for it. Thank God there's some women that are smart enough to actually buy men's stuff. And usually they are actually their quality too. So I'm gonna blend in some pictures just to show you the comparisons. Okay, my, my last point, because I have to go to work in a sec, is that men don't understand periods. I understand you don't understand how it feels like to have periods, but you know it hurts. Let me put it this way. I do not have nuts, you know, down there. So I don't know how it feels like if someone punches me down there, but I know it hurts from seeing it, like seeing the reactions from guys when they get hit down there. So if someone gets hit down there, I'm not like, oh, you man, tough it up, man. You're being wimp or something. No, I'm like, ah, that must've hurt. Same with periods. Guys don't want to hear about it. Just put it this way. Some women actually have really bad pains. And instead of laughing it off and being like, uh -huh, she's moody, she's on her period. Cause, oh my God, forbid that a woman gets upset if she's not on her period. Anyways, what I'm saying with this is just try to understand or like empathize a little bit. You don't even have to know how it feels like, but it is there, you can't ignore it.